Hi, I'm Greg Gutfeld, now with free Wi-Fi. Here's what's coming up. Trump blows a Putin a kiss. Clinton gives her war plan to ISIS. That almost rhymed. Tonight, your choices for commander-in-chief. Then, what is Aleppo? Gary Johnson didn't know. President Obama knew and did little about it until now. So what's worse? And will students do better in school without homework? Tyrus and Kat debate it like they're running for office. Let's get started, America. These spanks are killing me. Let's welcome tonight's guest. He creates more drama than Taylor Swift. Actor Nick Searcy, formerly of the hit series, I loved it, Justified, and currently starring in Greater in theaters now. She's so bright, she gives the GPS directions. No Miki Kantz, Democratic strategist and host of The Filter on Sirius XM's Progress Channel. Mm. <laughs> he uses SUVs as roller skates, TNA wrestler Tyrus. <laughs> And when life gives her lemons, she stares at them and cries. National Review reporter Catherine Taylor. <laughs> it was an hour with Lauer, a spat with Matt, two terriers on a carrier, the host somewhat hairier. Wednesday night, NBC hosted a forum on the intrepid, giving us a first glimpse of what Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump might face in the upcoming debates. Hillary haunted by a past misdeed, Donald his lurid Twitter feed. <laughs> and Hill acted just like Bill. Deny, deny, deny. Classified material has a header which says top secret, secret, confidential, nothing. And I, would, I will repeat this, and this is verified in the report by the Department of Justice. None of the emails sent or received by me had such a header. <laughs> she said header. <laughs> what does that remind me of? I want you to listen to me. I'm going to say this again. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. Too soon? She should have just said, I did not have sex with that server. Later. Donald took heat for an awful tweet after a question about females being sexually assaulted in the military that was this. In 2013, on this subject, you tweeted this, quote, 26,000 unreported sexual assaults in the military, only 238 convictions. What did these geniuses expect when they put men and women together? Well, it is, it is, a, it is a correct tweet. There are many people that think that that's absolutely correct. There are some people who think. I think he's saying men and women should never work together. Yeah, that sounds perfectly reasonable. Matt Lauer got a lot of flack for being too hard on Hillary. But that's what happens when you keep a morning show host up too late. They get a little cranky. But all of this was the result of media abstinence. People like Matt have been deprived for so long of any contact with Hillary that when it finally happens, you explode all over the place. And then it's over before you know it. <laughs> later, later in the week, both candidates updated their sound bites. To defeat ISIS, we must use military warfare, but also cyber warfare, financial warfare, and ideological warfare. We must also establish a bipartisan goal in the United States and an international goal with our allies of defeating radical Islamic Terrorism. And we talk specifically about a strategy to protect us from that threat here at home. We went into detail on what it will take to surge our intelligence to help us detect and prevent attacks before they happen. We also discussed methods to disrupt online recruitment so they stop reaching and radicalizing young people on the internet. It's like a pledge drive request on PBS. <laughs> I'm still waiting for my tote bag. <laughs> so who won this outing? Let's go to our focus group. Who are you voting for? Take that, Frank Luntz. <laughs> Nick. Uh, 
I'd like to compliment you on your wardrobe, but I would be lying. Yeah. Um, it's an homage to Tyrus. I know. You did. It's amazing. I can't tell you two apart. I'm, I'm, I'm the mini Tyrus. You're the mini Tyrus. You're a uh, tiny tie. What, if I went bowling? What? If I went bowling? Yeah, you're like a bowling, you're like a bowling rapper. All right. Wow. I'm going to ask you about when you watched uh, the, the Wednesday night. I believe it was Wednesday night. I think it was. Yes. yes. Uh, what was your take home? Who won? What did you get from it all? Well, I... Yeah, I couldn't stay awake through Hillary's thing, but um, the the Trump piece that yeah. one of the greatest lines I've ever heard in any sort yes. of presidential debate which, or forum was when Trump said that we're losing jobs like we're a bunch of babies. Yes. I just, that's I've been laughing about that for three days. It's like you you could put that with anything. Right. You know, we're going to go out for drinks after like we're a bunch of babies. Yes. <laughs> it's like the, when you say you add. In yeah, bed. In bed, yeah. Yes. You can just do it like we're a bunch of babies. Yeah, like we're a bunch of babies. I'm going to have Chinese food like we're a bunch of babies. <laughs> it really does work <laughs> with everything. Unless you're a baby. Like, yeah. I'm going to. What yeah. does a baby do? Yeah. You know, I, I should probably stop. I'm going to change my diapers like we're a bunch of babies. That really doesn't work. <laughs> yes. That's yes. not going to work. It's not. Unless you're, you're just old and you yeah, have Yes, exactly. <laughs> you know, Miki, uh, how did your. I, I, you know, you were a Sanders supporter. Oh, yeah. Um, do you think, who do you think won out of the two there? Uh, uh, uh Trump. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> uh, I actually, honestly, I'm going to say Hillary Clinton. Mm -hmm. And it's because she was able to say, I know countries, I know leaders. Mm -hmm. And that's why I'm going to be a better president. <laughs> and and she, she actually smiled more than Donald Trump, even though RNC chair Ryan's Priebus said that she smiled less than Donald Trump. Right. So the reality is, is you have a choice between a leader who knows countries and locations mm -hmm. and, and can be can say a full statement without insulting mm -hmm. a whole demographic and uh you know someone who's a narcissistic buffoon uh i don't know who you're talking about I but you know what I, I noticed uh, hillary up there she would sit and then she would stand and she would sit and she would stand which is proof to me that the, she is a shape-shifting lizard yes <laughs> i think so all right uh, i would think she's not really a shape-shifting lizard tyrus uh they're going after they're going after Trump for his but, tweets. They're going after her for her past experience. Trump has the advantage. He doesn't have a record. To go back, that smile she had is yeah. the same smile I have when like my child support payments get higher. <laughs> <laughs> like I got a smile, but damn. And the thing about Hillary was she was getting mad. Yes. And, yes. And Lowry was all of a sudden I was like, wow, man, this is. She's about to admit it. <laughs> yeah, I ordered code red on the server. I had to hammer it in. I did what had to be. I did it. I did it, okay? Just like just like a climate. I ordered code red. It was just like a climate. No further questions. Like on Law and Order. When yeah. all of a sudden the person goes, yeah! Yeah. <laughs> what you want me to do? Yes. Bill cheated. Yeah. And nobody liked me. You know, that was. <laughs> They'd still vote for him. Yeah. They, we would. Yeah, we would. We would. We would. We would. We're you know, voting for Bill. And Donald can pretty much, at this point, other than walking out and punching a baby in the face, yeah. he pretty much says whatever he wants to, and, and it's just sound bites. He yeah. doesn't. I don't think he believes half the stuff he says. Yeah, he just, but you know, just anybody else, and nobody cares. Cat, you know, Hillary's past is more checkered than a game of checkers. Mm, good one. Thank you. <laughs> Anyway, I, it's not really a question. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, and that was brought up, which was a good thing. Yes. And that's why everyone said he was too tough on her and he was unfair. But actually what that was was called fair. Right. Uh, he stood up to her, and whenever people kind of stand up to her, they're always called sexist, and you know, it's unfair. Like, I remember in the primary debates when Bernie Sanders, when she kept interrupting Bernie Sanders, yeah. and he said, excuse me, I'm talking, yeah. which is very polite. Yeah. Everyone went nuts. Said, mm -hmm. Like, they made it sound like he had said, shut up, woman, and spit in her face, <laughs> based on their reaction. Yes. So, you know, it, it's about, I hope that that doesn't continue every time anybody tries to hold her accountable. Dude, it's like, the media is losing their head over how Hillary was treated like she's like, uh, like, like they're treating her like a my pillow, you know. <laughs> By the way, my oh, pillows, so the best pillow in the world. I own 500 of them. I build a fort out of them in my basement. <laughs> they don't smell very good, but that's not my fault. <laughs> no, but I mean, it's like how did Matt, Matt Lauer did a fine job? I thought. Well, it's like either Hillary is like the smartest woman in the world and can do the job as well as any man, or mm. she's what? She's a little lady, and you can't talk mean to my meemaw. I don't right. get it. <laughs> What do you? Th 
It's a good point, you know, Miki. Like if you're if you're treating her like a Fabergé egg, that's sexist. Yeah. Well, I th okay, so so. Full disclosure, as, as we know, I was a Bernie Sanders supporter and I've never been late on Hillary Clinton. But as a woman who works in politics, who works with journalists, you have to be sensitive to these issues, especially when he cut her off more than, than Donald Trump. Donald Trump went unfact-checked by Matt Lauer, but saying that maybe he was too easy on Donald Trump still isn't saying that he was treating Hillary Unfairly, those aren't mutually exclusive. Good he point. could have been too easy on Trump and, st and still treated her fairly. But who picked him? That's what I want to know. Yes, Why there's, I did. there's a big difference. <laughs> what? Fact. Donald Trump's <laughs> like, yeah. Hillary's like, furthermore, when I first came to it, you have to understand, if you go back, and this is long, long stories, right. and you're like, all right, six minutes in, we need another question. So you have to cut her off, because she'll just try to answer one question for 30 minutes, and be like, thank you, good night, and be out. Mm -hmm. Or Donald's like, yeah. You yeah, know. you know why he does yeah? Yeah. That was a good tweet. Yeah. You know yeah, why he does know. yeah? Because that causes the host to move on or to to answer his own question. So question. he'll ask him about a certain thing that he doesn't know anything about, and he'll go, hmm. It's like, you know, uh, the difference between Hamas and Hezbollah. <laughs> and then they go, well, one of them's this, one of them's that. He goes, yes, I know. And he also does, <laughs> he does something that's very cool, too, that I used to do when I was getting... Who told you to do that? People. Yeah. <laughs> generals! Many, generals, many over people, there! Look, those guys, Five them. people, and they're very like, good people. Yes. What are their names? Uh, you know, there's a lot of people. Everyone, <laughs> everyone The told thing me. that bugged me the most, uh, there were two things. One, th one thing I liked when he says that if somebody gives, says nice things about him, he'll say nice things back, which is what reciprocity, what his whole life is, is you be nice to him, he'll be nice to you. But the, the thing that bugs me is the Putin stuff is a bit strange. It's a bit strange. And it's sarcastic. He's not really being nice to him. If you break down the translation, he says he's a magical man. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. And I've never seen him do a magic trick. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I think he's well, like, he, get Putin, in. I can't wait. We're going to have some fun. Yeah. Well, Putin makes people disappear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, technically. Like Paul Manafort. Exactly. <laughs> and Putin talks to us like we're a bunch of babies. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> there you go. Like we're a bunch of babies. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Stick around like a bunch of babies. Gary Johnson doesn't know what Aleppo is. And I suppose we all do. Pop quiz for the studio audience next. Yeah.